the X Factor, we wanted to make sure that we capitalised on the platform that we were given out of coming out of the show. So we did want to make sure that people still knew who Audio Vixen was um, after not seeing us for a little while. And the three of us sat down and said we've been given a really good opportunity here and let's do everything we can to further that and run with it. We used the time that we had between when we were eliminated and when the show finished to just basically get everything together and make sure that we were ready to be able to launch a single and launch uh, a tour which we've started. We wanted people to see us on the same light as what they did on X Factor. Obviously you know on X Factor you have a lot of production around you um, you know and you know, talking a, a massive production and it, it makes you know it makes a great visual show as, as you know as well as the, the singing aspect and whatnot. So we wanted to bring some of that into our own show. Uh, salute to Classic Rock. Um, but obviously you know we're not a million dollar <laughs> production, we're doing it all off our own back. Um, so from that, um, we found ourselves being very independent and in putting this entire show together ourselves. We love being involved behind the scenes as well in the creation process. Is this the right order? I just want to double check before I... Do um, you usually have a different shit on the I know you have... <laughs> <laughs> I know you have one on that. Well, we de we generally go into two halves. The, the there's not many that's one straight ninety minute. So for tonight, do the slides. I think tonight. Because it's, it's, it's based a off of that. Button. All right. Yeah. You know, I'll just save Maria two versions. Yeah, I will. I'll just, just for tonight. I'll just do that. Shoot. Two guys by the name of Ant and Ash from a company called the Square Division. They definitely opened our eyes to the importance of stage presence and set design and just exuding that confidence and more on stage. So we definitely took their advice away with us and everything we did it was like, what would Ant and Ash do? <laughs> so we did the same thing. We tried to. <laughs> All right, so tonight is our very first technical rehearsal for the Classic Rock concert show. It's a nerve wracking night, but also an exciting one because Tonight is just to determine how everything's going. Are all the musicians working well together? Does everybody know their parts? Have we put the right amount of material or the right kind of material into the show and how does it work in a sequence? <laughs> Remember we talked about well, two things last week, the intro with a screen, once that goes up, because the, 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 the whole thing's on screen, once that goes up and the lights come, uh, and you say, welcome Audio Vix, and the lights come up and you guys are taking it from there. That's quite simple. Where we have a scenario with no screen, I work around you. Just do your normal intro and I cut, cut in now and then and work with the dynamics to build it with you. Can we just go through that so one? I'll wait straight through then. Yeah. Let's rehearse it as though there's no screen. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, it's like, like look it up. so hard to narrow down the songs and the bands that we pay tribute to in our concert. You're going to have to take songs out man, there's no way. There's an hour and a quarter. Two songs. There's, 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 there's probably three. Yes. So the only way you're going to fit it all in is... Yeah. Virtually, as soon as the applause dies in, you're going to be in there with the next song. Okay. As much as you sometimes love a song, it's got to go. <laughs> Let's have a vote. What song should we take out? Well, you hate heartache tonight, so I just hate it because I can't play. Well, heartache because it's a sing-along song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a sing-along yeah. song. <laughs> you got to keep that one. I reckon the big one. The classic rock genre, you know, has spanned all the way from the late '60s all the way to now. Yes, you know, there's a lot of music there to choose from, and uh, to put a two-hour show together, you know, to choose some of the the most recognisable ones and the best ones that we thought. Uh, was tough, you know, uh, but we feel we've done a good job and we've uh, we've done it justice. Do the intro, then do it for the reggae feel. We get that. Yeah, yeah good idea.
we've got you know great artists like Queen, Bon Jovi. Other artists that, that probably don't get too much of a mention like America and Creedence Clearwater and we just put our own little AV spin on it. Uh, songs that you probably don't normally hear harmonies in. Uh, now we've got really nice three-part harmonies. <laughs> seems to be really taking to the songs that we're doing. We even wanted people that weren't necessarily classic rock fans to walk away saying, I love that song. Well, sometimes, you know, in rehearsals, uh, things work and other times they don't. It's, uh, it's a normal part of rehearsing when putting a show together and, and working with a band. Yeah. So if you can vary that, you'll have colours in there. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be one big sound. That's what your dad's saying, yeah. not the volume. That's the thing with There's rock no music. It's the layering. It's yeah. the layering. Like, really yeah. People will only listen to it to, to an extent yeah. for so long and then they'll just go, oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I agree with what Nick's saying, no one to pull back, no one to drive it as well. Uh, I think probably alone is lacking in the tone. Like, I think when it comes into the chorus, it just comes full on, and then the rest of the song is all full on. It got a little bit stressful, um, as anyone that's put a show together would know, that it does It does get, you know, um, there are hard times and, and there are definitely fun things about it as well. Musically, section-wise and stuff, we're not... Um, you know, it's, we're, we're happy there, it's all good. Um, what, would, what we feel it needs at times is um, we all need to know when, when is a good time to cut it back and when is a good time to drive it. So Chris was just pointing out, like, the song alone, when it hits that chorus, you know, it's, it's guns are blazing and that's fine. But when it comes back into that verse, we've got to know that it's got to come down again a little bit. When you first start rehearsing a song, it doesn't necessarily sound the way you want it to sound at first, and you know how you want it to sound, but you can't explain it. So like a really... Yeah, that one note repeating all the time? Yeah. With the two notes? And I'll right, keep it apart? That's the only thing yeah. like, That's what was missing in the whole thing last time. I couldn't figure out when I'm driving how I'm going, but that's it. <laughs> it's sounding f fine there, but, it's, uh, uh, but I heard it a couple of times where you're sort of going... Da, 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 and you're cutting out. Somewhere, I'm not so sure where it is. And where, when it happens, it almost sounds like... Because you're playing this string line, all of a sudden it drops out. I think maybe because it's about it's three different parts. Well, like, yeah. yeah, obviously he's he's playing a whole bunch of stuff, but it's 
much as he's trying to do from out here. It sounds like he's playing and it's dropped out. It's, it's We're not hearing the bit that follows that, that, yeah, that high string. Oh, okay. I'll try it. Yeah. I just thought I'd point it out because from here... We're hearing oh, that, but we're not hearing the follows up. There are particular recognisable points, say in a guitar line, or in a keyboard line, even a vocal line, that have to be there. to keep in mind that we are carrying a two-hour show and that people are sitting there watching us for two hours uh, and that the production and the music around you and and the way you perform has to all come together and keep people interested for that long. <laughs>